Hi, hello Olympia community. Welcome to the Capitol High School Performing Arts Center. We're gonna give you a little tour today and show you um, kind of the investment that this community has made. Uh, my name is Christina Cummins and I'm the theater teacher here at Capitol and um, I have been enjoying uh, working in this space. We've produced two shows in here already this year and we're getting ready to do Matilda for our spring musical. And you'll see as you get the tour that the stage is all set up for music concerts that have been happening this month. And um, there's just a lot of great things happening. So here we are in the lobby. You just walked through the front doors. And as you walk into the space, you'll see that there's gonna be a box office. So if there's tickets to be purchased, you can go to the box office. We often will sell concessions and we sell those in that lovely office as well. And we have seating and some trophy cases that we're yet to decorate and fill. We're looking forward to doing that. Um, so this is just this beautiful lower lobby and you'll get to see the upper lobby a little bit later. And we have some bathrooms and we have a monitor so people in the lobby can actually see what's happening on the stage if they need to step out for a moment. So here we're going through a little foyer until we enter into the stage where you will meet my student, Ben. Hello, I'm Ben Anderson. I'm a junior at Capitol High School and I'm also a thespian officer and I've been acting in plays at Capitol uh, since my freshman year. So, uh, let's start by looking at our cl costume closet. Uh, currently we have people working in here. And uh, make sure to watch your head. These are uh, very low beams and we keep pool noodles on it. Uh, this is where we keep all of our costume pieces. We have uh, all these racks, costumes throughout here. And uh, in the back, we have all these boxes and uh, bins where we keep other various uh, costume pieces. Now let's check out the theater. So in this space, we have over 500 seats. And uh, this new space has very nice acoustics, so it's very, uh, it's much easier for the audience members to uh, hear the people on stage, uh, especially more than our last theater. Uh, here's a ghost light to keep the ghosts at bay and just to provide some light. It's kind of dark out here. Uh, right now we have a shell because uh, we have uh, music performances happening soon. Above is the fly space. And uh, that's pretty much the stage. It's a very nice uh, open area and it's, it's very great to perform here because we have so much more space and uh, it can be a bit intimidating because there's always so much more people but it also gives you a lot of uh, motivation, I suppose. And uh, this space is just a, it's a big improvement over the last one because of the acoustics and just the size and all the other uh, technical stuff. And uh, behind the shell, we have the wings. Uh, these are the offstage areas where we keep uh, set pieces during performances and where all the actors uh, stay before they uh, have to go on. And we always make sure to be quiet back here during performances. And here's some just various stuff that we're uh, keeping here for the band and orchestra concerts. Now let's check out the green room. Uh oh, it's locked. Okay, this is the green room. This is where everything happens during the performances. So here we have uh, the tables and the sink. This is where all the hair and makeup people work. This is all the various uh, hair and makeup supplies, a lot of fun stuff to work with. And uh, we have all these couches out here for uh, everybody to just chill before they're supposed to be on stage. And here's a, a big monitor that uh, 
broadcasts uh, video, live video from the stage while performances are happening uh, when it actually works. We've have, we have had some problems with that, unfortunately. Uh, here's just a few uh, costume racks. we we'll probably move this out of the way. And uh, these are what the dressing rooms look like. Not all that important, but it's a lot of very nice room for uh, the actors. Uh, we always keep a costume rack in here. We have plenty of space. And there's very good lighting. We use the mirrors for our uh, makeup and just to make sure that we look good. And that about does it here. And now I'm going to hand you off to Sydney Linville. Hi guys, I'm Sydney Linville. I'm a junior here at Capitol and I've been part of program since my freshman year. I've participated in eight shows at Capitol and yeah, I love this program and everything about it just makes me like really giddy. Um, it's something I really want to continue doing for the rest of my life. So yeah. All right, come on. I'm going to take you guys to the scene shop. As you guys can probably hear, I don't know, um, there is some work going on, so we did close the door, um, just so you guys don't get exposed all that noise. Um, if you guys just want to do a quick glance, we are working on the construction for Matilda. Our props crew is also up there, and you can see a little attic. There we go. And in that attic, we have all of our props from previous shows and future shows that we might do. Um, yeah, and what's great about this new space is we have tall enough boards so we can stack all of our wood pieces great and we have a place to paint to paint. I can easily move some of the set pieces that we build into the theater through these big large doors. Very big. And I well, you know, last time we were moving step pieces, we had to move them through a small door. So that's pretty fun. Alright, we're gonna come back through. You guys saw a glimpse while walking past here to the green room, and now we're going to be going to the rigging system, which is something we've never had before in a theater at Capitol, or at least I've never seen one here. So yeah, these big wires along here. Um, these is what, this is what we use to raise and lower a lot of the things that we control um, for some of the events that we have here at Capitol. Um, like right here, we have stuff for the concert, as you saw earlier with Ben, and we use these ropes to help lower and raise these things we call the clouds that are just right above, kind of look like a ceiling. Um, it's a lot of weight, and um, I'm one of the few that have been trained on this system. Um, it's really, it's really like new and everything, and so it's really nice to have this system because I've never because now we can do a lot of things that we can't, we weren't able to do in our last space. You know, we couldn't fly anything in. And now we can fly in all these things that we want to, like, you know, um, for our upcoming production, Matilda, we want to fly in some chalkboards and we want to do some, all these fun things, like flying in some blocks. And so maybe, maybe not. Um, so yeah, it's really fun and I love doing that. All right, now we're moving on. So be prepared. We're going up to the catwalks. So we come through here, and they're back here. I'm going to turn on the works, and now we can climb up. All right. All right. We have this first level real quick, uh, where there are some lights that we use. Uh, to shine onto the stage. So there's a little extension of our lights. Just three of them over there, but it gives you a nice view of the stage. And if we want to like hang anything from here or use the space for the actors, it's a great place. Great view of the stage. All right. Now we come up here. are our catwalks. Now, you can see over here, this is what we use here. This is a connection to the rigging system, which we use to load on the weights onto the arbor in order to raise and lower some of the things. 
So you get a nice little thing, and this is how we put stuff, put weights onto the rigging system. And these are the catwalks. I'll take you down this one up here. These are great for the lighting systems. Um, in our last, in our last space, we had to have somebody with very good upper body strength basically pull themselves across to the lights. And now with this system, we can just walk straight to these lights. So we have all these three lights. Like this one, we have an LED, which we've never had before. And they've been like, you know, LED strips that we have on the bottom, which is really great. We can use them for all sorts of colors. <laughs> and we have all these sorts of lights, like Epsols and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, we have good safety measures to precaution. And it also helps us in case we want to hang anything up here. In case we need to, you know, come up here. And I just, I just love that we can now have all these sort of lights that we can take. Um, next, a little subsection is um, our crow's nest, which is where we store usually our spotlights. So for a show, if you want to like highlight an actor or an actor's having a moment, we would use a spotlight and we use one of these systems. We hook that onto these wiry things, these systems, and we push them all the way there and it can spotlight someone all the way from down there. And I've seen, if you've seen any of our performances like Pops or um, Shakespeare in Love, we do use it and it's a very effective way to like light somebody. So yeah, so that was all I needed to show you. Now we're gonna come down these little ladder over here and you're gonna come to my friend Lynn. Alright, coming down. Alright, this is Lynn guys. Hi. Can I hand you off to them? Alright. Have fun. I'm Lynn and I've been working as a part of different theater productions for the past two years here at Capitol High School. And for the most part, a majority of my shows have been here in the Performing Arts Center. And right now we are standing in the lighting booth. Earlier, the booth was belonged to both sound people and lighting and it was, I would say, smaller than this area right now. And so all of us were crammed into the same area, but now we have lighting and then we have sound. And for lighting, they have control over all the lights, but also the lights on the sides of the theater. So you can change the colors and you can turn them on and off. And a really fun example of this is during puffs. Uh, when Cedric goes underwater in the bathtub scene, the lights start shining blue. And also for uh, both puffs and Shakespeare in Love, there would be times where we have a thunder sound effect. And so we coordinated with the lighting booth to flash the lights on the side of the theater at the same time. And it really immerses people even more to have like the extra lighting effects on top of everything. So we have lighting over here. Uh, there's a projector in here. Uh, there's a tablet over there that allows you, us to turn on and off the different monitors all over the Performing Arts Center. Most of them are in the lobby, so you can see the stage while you're in the lobby. There are, there's one in the, in the pit, the orchestra pit, and one in the green room. And it helps people tell like what point of the show people are in. And it's helpful for the actors in the green room so they know when to get backstage to be on stage. And especially for the orchestra, for uh, musicals like Matilda that's going to happen, it helps them know what point of the scene that the actors are at so they can keep in time with the actors. Anyways, there's also the mic receivers for uh, all the mics that we can be using here. And uh, there are extra lights sitting here. Uh, we have uh, these handheld uh, headsets which, uh, these are portable, you can carry them around and all of them uh, link up to each other and it helps us communicate. And especially with the intercom, which can, uh, there's an intercom in the green room, and it helps all of us communicate with each other, especially like with uh, Spotlight, with uh, the people on stage, uh, people in the booths, like between both booths as well. 
And so uh, it helps us cooperate with each other. If there's an issue going on somewhere, we can go on the headset and ask for some help with that. And it, you know, it keeps everything together. Now over here, this is the sound booth. And it's great that it's outside because we can hear everything that is going on on stage. And if we can hear what the actors are saying and we can tell clearly what they're saying, then that means everyone else in the theater will be able to hear clearly. And of course, the main part of the sound booth is the soundboard. And it's really cool. And uh, one of like the, I guess, major parts about it is the fact that uh, when it's turned on, it's not turned on right now because we haven't turned on the phantom power. But when it's turned on, you can save presets for different shows. So it's like if orchestra were to have its own show, it would ha it could set different, uh, like the different systems to whatever, and then save that. And then uh, us in theater, we could have our own save for Matilda. And along with that, whenever we turn it on and it's set to Matilda, all of these volumes will go to whatever place we last set them. So we don't have to like remember what volumes each mic was at. It will automatically go to that volume. And at the same time, whenever it's off, it'll go back down to zero. And so the, sound, the soundboard is really cool. That's not everything it does. There's a lot more it can do, but it helps us tremendously with sound and makes things less complicated than they were in the past. Well, hello again, and welcome back to our upper lobby space. Um, so if you're sitting in the upper seating area, you would exit out this way. And I just don't have a favorite, this is my favorite place in the entire building. Um, because I can look down and I can see the patrons as they leave our production or as they congratulate their students after the show and just the joy that we're able to bring to our community through our theater work. And then I can look out and see the commons in our beautiful Capitol High School building. And I just feel so fortunate to have the opportunity to teach here and to direct productions in this beautiful space. So thank you, Olympia, for supporting Capitol High School and for supporting the performing arts. <laughs> 